Hey, Red Line Runner, this one's for you. This is part of your three question challenge. And I decided to take your challenge. And I picked a really nice place to start it. This is called the Amarelda Marsh. It's uh, an, an unmolested area uh, near where I live. It's just really a pretty area. Uh, there's very few people that live out here. But uh, anyway, enjoy the scenery and here's the challenge. Three things you didn't know about me and maybe didn't want to know. Okay, number one is I grew up in the desert in Southern California. I, my father bought me my first motorcycle when I was nine years old. It was a Honda Trail 70 motorcycle that I learned how to ride out in the desert, in the dirt, in the sand, amongst cactus and just out in the desert. And that's actually how I learned to ride a motorcycle. I didn't get my first street legal motorcycle until I was in my 20s. And I'd already been out of the, out of the military at that point and went and bought my first street legal motorcycle which was a can't remember what year it was but it was a Yamaha DT400 I'm gonna go down this road and see if it's open yeah let's go down here and take a look I hate taking this bike off of off-road because it's so ill-equipped for it compared to the other one so that's question number one Beautiful old truck sitting out there. That was a late 40s, early 50s model. Looked like a Chevy, you couldn't tell. So number two about me, I am 100% politically incorrect. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Most of today's Me Too, politically correct, and social justice warriors, I find to be offensive. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't how, understand how a woman 35 years ago says she was raped or treated badly by a man, and now all of a sudden she wants to come out of the woodwork and ruin his life. That shouldn't be allowed to happen. That is wrong. Now, I'm not saying rape is right, don't get me wrong, I'm not for that at all. But a lot of this political correctness has just gone too far the other way. And the only purpose of political correctness is to be divisive, is to make people divisive amongst one another. The, it's, it has no place in our society today, and it was created by our liberal fake news media for headlines. That's the only reason it exists today. It shouldn't exist at all, but sadly it does. If you're looking for political correctness out of me, boy, you're in the wrong spot. You need to move on. And my final. And the third and final thing about me you didn't know is I'm giving up on most of social media. I found that with the exception of YouTube and Snapchat, that social media is becoming a major, major social problem. Fake news, Russian hackers, Russian trolls, mean-spirited people, people that have nothing nice to say about anything, and then of course my biggest and the one that absolutely chews my craw is people that are addicted to their cell phones, which is a direct link to social media. People are so addicted to cell phones now, of course we're all going to end up in some place like this, but you are more likely to be killed by somebody looking at their cell phone checking their social media than you will any other way on a motorcycle. 
It's just gotten to the point where it's freaking out of control. And I mean seriously, 100% out of control. All you see are people everywhere addicted to their phones, staring at it while they're driving, at restaurants, at movie theaters, walking down the road. You don't see people not on their phones anymore. It has become a pandemic. You have to disconnect from your phone. You have to disconnect from social media. It's just going to be one of those things that's going to have to happen for society to heal itself.